I'm Erin Jansen, author of Netlingo the Internet Dictionary and founder of Netlingo.com. I'm here to explain the Internet word of the day. Today's term is cookies, also known as a cookie or cookie technology. It's a fun one, but it's actually kind of long, so bear with me. It's a funny name for a noun that describes a small piece of information about you. Actually, it's about your computer. It's a small file that a web server automatically sends to your PC when you browse certain websites. Cookies are stored as text files on your hard drive, so servers access them when you revisit that website. Cookies contain information that identify each user. For example, your login, password, shopping cart information, preferences, and so on. When a user revisits a website, his or her computer automatically serves up the cookie, which establishes your identity. This eliminates the need for you to re-enter all that information each time. Also, it's nothing more than a string of numbers and letters. Cookies are commonly handed out when you, as a user, log into a website where you've registered before. The server finds your cookie information, checks with its own information, sees if there's a match, and then retrieves your information. You then either have a personalized version of a portal or access to your account on a website, for example. Former Netscape programmer Lou Montuli is credited with inventing the cookie, and it's one of those technologies that makes the internet so awesome. For example, when you purchase airline tickets online, cookies ensure that you do not have to enter the frequent flyer information every single time you go back. Oh, and in this instance, see sticky content. The term has morphed into a verb. I love when they do that. For example, in techie jargon, you may hear, don't worry about the back end tracking yet. We first have to cookie them. In the internet industry, cookies are used by advertisers to track your browsing and buying patterns. In this realm, cookie technology enables advertisers to target ad banners to you based on what you've said your interests are. For example, Amazon.com is able to tailor its appearance to, to suit what your preferences are. It's a double-edged sword for many people because on the one hand, it is efficient and pertinent in that it is showing what you're interested in. But on the other hand, it does involve tracking and following where you've gone and what you've clicked on. So in this instance, see click streams. Cookie technology also makes shopping cart technology possible. For example, when you select items that you intend to purchase from an online shop or catalog, cookies make it possible for you to continue shopping and check out later. The items miraculously appear in your shopping cart. If you've shopped there before, chances are you won't have to re-enter your credit card information or your billing information. This may sound scary to some people at first, but as most assert, it's no more dangerous than leaving your credit card behind a bar for an open bar tab. As a responsible medicine, however, there are a few things you need to know. For example, how to delete your cookies when you're no longer using a particular website. It's also important to realize that the server does in fact store this information, so don't go around registering on every website under the sun. Who knows what's going to happen with all that information someday. So, many of the terms in this definition are linked, which means they're cross-referenced to other internet terms so you get a better understanding of what they mean. For example, I encourage you to look up sticky content and click streams. There's also a more info button on this definition. Anytime you see that, please click on it for more information. I've also posted a link on how to find, view, edit, and delete your cookies. So, that's our term for today, cookies. I'm Erin Jansen, and until next time, I'll see you online.